Girls deserve to compete on a level playing field. Forcing female athletes to compete against males is not fair and destroys these girls' athletic opportunities. Alliance Defending Freedom is representing three female high school track competitors, filing a suit in federal court to challenge the state's policy of allowing transgender athletes to compete in girls' sports. Selena Soul says it's not a fair playing field. Now when we line up in front of our blocks and the starter calls us to get into position, we all know how the race will end. We can't win. We've lived it. We've watched it happen. We've missed out on medals and opportunities to compete. Attorney Christina Holcomb says the state is violating Title IX. A federal law passed nearly 50 years ago to stop discrimination against women in education while creating equal athletic opportunities for them. Holcomb says biological males are taking away athletic opportunities for young women. Because of the CIAC's regressive policy, two male athletes have dominated the girls' field, winning 15 state championship titles that were previously held by nine different Connecticut girls. I was defeated before stepping onto the track, but I said nothing. Kept it to myself, knowing a, bi a biological male had been breaking records in the girls' events he participated in. The CIAC believes its current policy is appropriate under both state and federal law, and it has been defending that policy in the complaint that was filed previously with the Office of Civil Rights. We won't be sidelined and we won't be silenced. We truly believe that there are better solutions, solutions to protect the opportunities for all athletes. ADF attorneys are asking the court to stop enforcement of CIAC's policy while the lawsuit moves forward.